Joined now by Gerald Salente from the publisher of the Trend Journal to share his views on the recent developments in Syria. So under President Obama's uh, leadership, we have seen tensions flare in three oil producing countries, Syria, Libya and Iran. What effect do you see this having on crisis hit economies? Well, it's very destabilizing to the economies. There's no question about it. And when you look at the fundamentals behind it, as has been shown by some of your reports that just preceded me, there's a grand agenda here. Let's go back to Libya. That was one of the ports that had access of other countries going into. And now, really, Syria is the only port that Washington and NATO doesn't have control of. So this is about the grand scheme, the, the great game of the Middle East and isolating Iran, Syria being its only ally there in the region. So th there's a lot at stake here. And the American people, of course, really don't understand the implications, nor do they know what's really behind any of this. All they hear is the rhetoric. The Syrian conflict started almost simultaneously with the Libya one, but for some time the administration in the U.S. turned a blind eye to the Syrian conflict. Why is that, and how do you think these two conflicts differ? Well, the reason they turned the blind eye to it is because they had to finish what they started over in Libya. And I don't see a lot of difference in this at all as it's starting to evolve. Let's go back to Libya. Who is the first so-called proponent for humanitarian interference? Didn't it come from the Arab League? And isn't the Arab League also mostly Sunni? And as we talk about all the um, unrest going on in Syria, gee, I mean, is, aren't the people in Damascus and Aleppo and the major cities, they're not in revolt? And why not? Because a number of them are very concerned about a Sunni takeover. And of course, the Arab League is mostly Sunni. So there's a lot more going on over here than meets the eye. And of course, the, the major issue is that the United States does not want to have China or Russia to have access to Middle East oil at, at their whim. And again, go back uh, when you mentioned a year ago, last March, when the so-called Arab Spring was heating up, Gee, didn't, um, didn't they say that they had to bring a humanitarian mission and it wasn't about oil? Well, it's about oil again. And again, it's about Russia having access to the ports in, in Syria, which they were rebuilding a year ago. And finally, do you see the Syrian conflict being resolved anytime soon? Not at all particularly when you hear war hawks like Senators Lindsey Graham and John McCain calling for bombs away, and again go back and play over, you see the same scenario. The heads come in and they say, we have to be calm, we need time, and, and we have to use diplomacy. In the meanwhile, they're building up for the military conflict. And you heard President Obama say at the height of the Iranian incident with Netanyahu that he said, you know, that at this time when there's not a lot of sympathy for Iran and its only ally Syria is on the ropes we have to quiet it down a little bit all right Gerald Salente thanks very much for your time